Good day, Pisces viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning into Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your awesome energy. Thank you for hanging out with me. And thank you for clicking on subscribe, liking this video, and clicking on that notification bell. That'll let you know when I'm going live or posting new videos. Today, I'm shuffling for the overall energy for this general reading for Pisces for January Love and Romance for 2023. So, Spirit, what is the overall energy? For the Pisces Collective for January 2023. What do they need revealed to them for January 2023? What do they need revealed to them, Spirit? Okay, so we have why and the fates. Now, this relationship that you are in now is a fated relationship. Um, you're meant to be where you're meant to be. If you are in a relationship right now, this is the relationship you're meant to be in. Um, but I do see that you're still learning about each other. You're still questioning. There's still questions that you have. I feel like you might be seeking clarity. This person might not always be emotionally available to you. Um, so you might be asking a lot of questions sometimes because you're trying to understand where they're coming from. You're trying to see it from their perspective. But this is a lifelong journey. This is, you're always going to, to want to get them to know them better. That's what a relationship is. Um, you know, it's a, a process of getting to know somebody, changing as they do throughout life. Um, you know, and with everything that happens to somebody, there comes change. There comes lessons that are learned. There comes... Um, a lot of a lot of things happen throughout the years that you're going to constantly be bouncing things off of why why you know working through things adjusting to each other so that's human that's being human asking why um now how much they're willing to give you that is that's where problems sometimes lie um sometimes people are more um, what's the word I'm looking for, spirit? More, um, closed off. That's not the word I'm looking for, but it'll come to me. Closed off with their feelings. They're not going to be emotionally available to you. Um, and that's how they are. Um, other times with other people, they're an open book. They'll tell you exactly what you want to know. All you have to do is ask the right questions. Um, but this, you guys were meant to be together. So if this person is not in your life right now, whoever's going to be coming into your life, it's a faded relationship. The universe has brought you together. Um, if It could be just to learn lessons. It could be uh, to get you through this period. It could be, um, you know, to understand or understand the growth of people or try to, uh, you know, it, or it could be to build a lifelong journey together. There are so many, many reasons why people are built together or brought together, whether it be you're married or, or just dating. Um, it's a, it's a changing. There's there's always going to be change. People are constantly changing. And it's just if they're willing to change with you, if they're willing to grow with you. Um, but know that this is this is something that was brought to you through the universe. This is something that you were divinely guided to. And um, it's really up to the growth the the questions the how much do they want are willing to put into it is is where the the story goes the different you know pathways you know then you can tell maybe this was meant for me maybe it wasn't 
maybe it's time to move on maybe it's time to move forward but all of the relationships that you are going to be in whether romantic or not are faded relationships all right so we got some cards here we got eight of air world now you're probably wondering why i gave that look Eight of air is being inside your head, like a mental prison. And that is something that could change, but you have to be willing to change that. We have the six of earth, or they have to be willing to change something to make you feel at ease. And the messenger of air. There's an uneasiness here. You're trying to see clarity on something. Like I said, asking questions, trying to see clarity. Um, they might not necessarily want to give you that clarity, unfortunately. Um, this might be somebody you own a house with or you live together. Um, or they've offered, offered to move in together. Um, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm, we have the six of earth and I'm hearing. There. This is creating a balance. Like something might be off balance in your relationship. Maybe you saw things going differently. Um, in your relationship and there's not that, that give and take. But there's got to be communication. Your person might not be great at communicating because this is only a messenger. Knights bring in messages though, but I don't see that this, it's like you're seeking clarity. Can we clarify the eight of air? Why does the Pisces collective have the eight of the air in this reading for love and romance spirit? What's going on with this? Ugh. tower that's a big big old change coming in um now if you don't stop a tower moment before it happens it could be wretched um something needs to change uh four of air like loving yourself Four of air is self-love. Treating yourself better. Loving yourself. There is some sort of something you need to do before this tower moment comes. But I also have this winning at any cost. It's like you're, you're manipulating something. And that's going to bring on this tower moment. There's something that you're, there's some kind of manipulation going on. Are you manipulating a relationship? Or are you putting something in somebody's ear? And it's making you feel better. But it's also causing this tower moment. See, the thing about the tower moment is you can't manipulate the universe. The tower moment happens because 
your person or you gets so off course about where they're supposed to be or where you're supposed to be um, that almost complete destruction has to happen to get you guys back on course in your own paths. And if you're not hearing the signs or listening to what you're actually supposed to do and you keep manipulating, then a big tower moment's going to come and wreak havoc on your life. It actually turns your life upside down. So that's a, it's a scary feeling. And you feel like you're doing it for your best interests, but it's not really for your best interests. The universe, your higher power knows what your best interest is, and this is not it. So you're manipulating something to bring the outcome that you want. And it's bringing a complete imbalance to your path, to their path. Okay. World. Can we just... This, you might be living together, like I said, or you might own property together. Or you might be trying to buy property together. one more card to clarify the world. I have one more card to clarify the world, please. Patience. It's funny. <laughs> this is... You guys are not on the same page. We have chariot and patience. One is rushing towards something and the other one is saying chill out. That's why that's why I'm seeing the, the manipulation. It's like you are trying to make things happen. Um, or they're trying to make things happen. And uh, you're being called to have patience. Uh, a lot of the times a chariot is often about working on yourself, trusting the universe. Um Trusting the universe, this charioteer does not have any kind of reins in their hands. So that's trusting the universe to bring this chariot to where it's supposed to be, to the correct path. Um, it's going to take patience. And it might not always be how you thought it would be. It might not be your dreams. But it is for your best interest. It might not be how you saw things going at all. You're being asked to have patience. Because you're going to be the star of the show. It's going to be for your greatest good. You're the one who's going to be rewarded and standing on a pedestal. Okay, can we clarify the Six of Earth for our Pisces Collective? Let me see it. Okay, so that's good. See if we can have some more clarification for the six of earth. So as you're working on the universe, taking control, not manipulating things, doing things the way they were supposed to be done, um, there is...
there's going to be, your wishes are going to be fulfilled. You're coming out on top as the queen of water. Which is, means you have a lot of love to give. Um, so in the end, you are going to be the winner. If you do the work, if you let the universe take control, if you let things flow naturally. And this is going to be a lot of work. Your hands are going to be tied a lot of the time because you're going to want to intervene, especially if you, that's what you've been used to doing. And that's not something uh, uh, that's not something that's unusual. People do it or it wouldn't be a thing. I wouldn't be sitting here talking about it if people didn't do it. So you're being called to not intervene, to not let things happen naturally. Let whatever, you know, if somebody is, wants to choose you, they're going to choose you. If somebody, if you want to choose somebody, you're going to choose whoever you want and if they want you back, then they're going to reciprocate that. But you have to let it happen naturally. Everything have to, has to happen naturally. And that is where it comes in for your greatest good. That's going to be the ultimate happiness. Letting things happen organically don't beg for somebody's attention okay messenger of air we're clarifying for spirit thank you we have stars wish fulfillment now i also just heard vulnerability Making yourself more vulnerable to somebody. Maybe you've had your guard up. Make yourself more vulnerable to passion. Maybe, um, you know, you need to spice things up. Or let down your, your guard a little bit when it comes to, um, to passion. I have one more card from this deck, Spirit. Whoa! Okay, so. Two to end this reading is High Priestess and Nine of Earth. Now, the High Priestess talks about not reacting like we've been talking about letting things happen naturally organically not reacting knowing that the universe is going to take care using your intuition etc now the nine of earth is you being independent no matter what you do this is a card of independence so you're going to be fine with whatever it is happens you are going to flourish. You're going to grow. And you know this because you motivate yourself. The Queen of Earth is, I mean, the High Priestess is asking you to not react. Because um, fighting isn't going to get you anywhere. Don't engage in a fight. Back off. Um, try not to uh, manipulate the situation. Like I said, let things happen organically. Listen to your intuition. Because that's what the high priestess is about, listening. 
taking things in. Because you, regardless of the outcome, are going to be the winner. Okay, so let's get some messages from this romance deck for our Pisces Collective. Pisces. Romance for Pisces for January. What do they need to know? Ah, okay. So we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Yep, trust the universe. Then we got these crazy cards that flipped out. I'm going to read to you anyway. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So that's for some of you guys. All of these flipped out. So somebody watching needs to hear it. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I'm not telling you everything you need to know. Um, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Do it. Don't hold back. Thank you, Pisces, for hanging out with me. Thank you for your awesome energy and staying till the end. I love your loyalty and I love you guys. Uh, please see below on how to book a personal reading. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye, Pisces.